Hello and welcome back to our channel, Help Big Little Gems. My name is Saranmit and today we are going to learn about one of my most favorite things. Today we are going to learn about food. I hope you all are safe and are doing well. Without any further ado, let's begin today's lesson. So we are going to learn about the different components of food. But first, I would like to begin this chapter with a question for each and every one of you. My question to you is, what is your favorite food? Give it a minute to think about it. Yes, some of you may have thought my favorite food is pasta. And some of you may have thought my favorite food is pizza. And some of you may have even said, my favorite food is ice cream. Well, ice cream is my favorite food. That's why I thought about it. But anyway, if we look about it closely, we see each of these foods are different, different types of foods, which are made of different components. Each of these components have different roles to play in our bodies. And that is exactly what we are going to learn in this chapter. Now, my second question for you is, I want you all to recall your last meal. Yes, so many of you may have eaten many different things. So my last meal was lunch. So for lunch today, I had rice, I had sambar or dal, and I had vegetables. Now let's see and analyze what is in this. What is in this meal? Why is this meal a healthy meal? Why couldn't I have just eaten, you know, a burger or a pizza? Why did my mom choose to give me rice, sambar and vegetables? Well, the reason why is because these three foods have the different components that help to keep my body a healthy body. Now, if you see, rice is a food that is packed with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, you've never heard of that? Oh, okay. Well, carbohydrates are basically the components of food that help you gain a lot of energy. Because we eat rice, rotis and chapatis in such high volume, that is why we are able to have enough energy to get through our day. Sambar or dal helps us to gain protein and protein helps us grow the different muscles and our different bones in our body. Vegetables are very important. We often see ads on the television of people eating vegetables to keep themselves healthy. But why do they eat vegetables? Well, vegetables help different parts of our body. If you look at this, what does it look like? I want you all to think about this triangle that I've drawn over here. Yes, this is the food pyramid. Well done. So if you look at the food pyramid, it starts off with junk food at the top which has a very small space. Then we have fats and oily foods, followed by meat and dals, followed by milk and yogurt, followed by cereals and breads. And if you see closely, the largest space is occupied by vegetables and fruits. Why? Why do we need different types of foods every day? My sister loves to eat burgers and I love to eat pizza. Why can't we eat pizza and burgers each and every single day? Well, we need different types of food which have different components because these are different components help the different parts in our body to grow and to develop. As we know, our body doesn't just consist of our stomach and our hands. We have many different parts of our body such as our eyes, our nose, our legs, our stomach and the different organs and organ systems that make up the wonderful human body. But each of the needs of these body parts are different. That is why we have to eat different types of foods to keep these different body parts healthy. First and foremost, we have carbohydrates. Carbohydrates such as cereals and breads. That is why when you think about it, why early in the morning we always eat things like upma and poha and bread? Because these foods have large amounts of carbohydrates. And this is a simple equation for all of you. Carbohydrates mean energy. Carbohydrates equal to energy. So more carbohydrates you eat, the more energy you will have. That is why we eat a lot of rice, a lot of roti and these help us power through our day. 
Secondly, we have milk and yogurt. We start every day with a glass of milk. Have you ever wondered why? Well, what is our body made of? When you think about it, our body is made of skin and organs, right? But what holds our body together? That's correct. Our body is held together by our skeletal system. A skeletal system is made of bones. These bones, if they want to remain strong, flexible and rigid, they need calcium. Calcium is a mineral and this mineral is obtained by, you guessed it, we obtain this mineral calcium by the intake of dairy products. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. So we obtain calcium by intaking dairy products such as milk and yogurt. And that is why even though adults drink coffee, they have large volumes of milk because everyone needs their bones to be strong. Then we have meat and dance. Well, here's an interesting picture. I want you guys to see if you know who this is. Just give me a quick second. Do you know who this is? Yes, this is John Abraham. And he is known for his immensely massive muscles and his strong body. Well, how did he make up this body? Many of you will say he made up this body by doing lots of exercise. But by doing lot of exercise, you cannot only help and gain your muscles. For your muscles to really grow and develop, you need this. You need meat and dance. Why? Because this has lots of protein. The muscles in our body require protein and this protein is obtained in the form of meat and dance. That is why it is important that if we want our muscles to grow strong and if we want our muscles to grow very fast, we have to have a lot of protein, right? And lastly, fruits and vegetables. So many people have such less amounts of fruits and vegetables. You know, when you think about it, why are fruits and vegetables necessary? You know, just think, what fruit helps you and how does it help you? Have you ever thought about that? Exactly. Different fruits, as I said before, and different vegetables help different parts of the body. For example, vitamin A, which is obtained by eating carrots, helps our eyes. And if you think about it, vitamin C, which is obtained by eating oranges and lemons, helps by keeping infectious diseases away from our body and helps keep us safe and healthy. And other vitamins, you know, such as vitamin D, for example, which is obtained by eating eggs, this also helps in keeping the calcium and also helps in keeping our muscles and organs strong and growing. That is why it is important that we have a balanced diet and we have different different types of food. But where do we get this food? How do we know how much of each food are we supposed to intake? And if I am living in an area which doesn't produce rice and produces only wheat which is made and which is used to make chapati or roti, how am I supposed to get the carbohydrates? Well, students, that is what we are going to learn in this chapter. So hopefully you've all enjoyed the introduction to this chapter, components of food. And if you want to learn how we should keep a balanced diet, how we should maintain our bodies healthy by eating the right amounts of food, and how do we know which foods are near us and what we should eat to be healthy, stay tuned and keep watching Helping Little Gems because we are going to cover the chapter components of food. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay safe and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.